parents in another Bay Area school district are expressing their concern tonight as well. This time, it's about Sarasota Public Schools' proposed change to its visitor policy. School board leaders are looking to allow parents to walk their children to class in the morning. 8 on your side's Allison Henning has more. We heard from parents both for and against the policy change. Right now, the local teachers union is pushing district leaders to hear from all stakeholders before making a final decision. For many parents with school aged children, safety is an issue always at the top of mind. Security is, is the most important thing when it comes to children in a school. After the Parkland school massacre in 2018, district leaders in Sarasota County made some changes to make schools safer for everyone. We put millions of dollars into hardening the campuses and everybody was beginning to feel safer now. Now they're saying we want to open it up and let people walk around the campuses. A possible revision to the visitors policy is on this week's agenda. The change would give parents access to campus to walk their kids to class in the morning. Parents we heard from had mixed feelings on the possible change. You just want to feel involved with where your children are. Yeah. And if you don't feel involved, you just feel like it's just going to be a question mark, like what's yeah. going on. We can drop kids off. Car line works perfectly fine. We can say goodbye then and there. We don't, we, there's no reason why parents should walk their kids into the classroom. In a survey with almost 1,500 responses, the local teachers union found more than 93% of educators were not in favor of opening campuses up for student drop-off. In this letter, union leaders asked the school board to postpone the issue and first survey parents to see what they have to say about it. Barry Dubin says he's hearing concerns surrounding security and disruptions to instruction. It seems like we have to err on the side of safety. If we're going to deviate from that, we better have a good reason. And I'm not sure we do here. In a post on social media Monday, school board chair Bridget Ziegler said parents are not the enemy and will be welcomed back onto campus with all security standards remaining. This policy revision is on two different agendas for Tuesday. It'll first come up at a board workshop at 8.30 Tuesday morning, then again at the official board meeting happening at 6 p.m. Reporting from Sarasota County, Allison Henning, 8 on your side.